So feel free to come back if you need to. It is February 15th, 2021. We're here on the side of the house, right outside the kitchen here at 12509 Del Sol Road in Lakeside, California, 92040. We're going to inspect the drain and sewer lines for the house. So we have a two inch ABS clean out here for the kitchen. Now this line is actually also accessible from the crawl space. We can see that the piping is all ABS plastic. So here's our turn into the system here with our camera through the 90s. Let's see if our hung up just a little bit on some of the turns here. We don't always try to go through the kitchen clean outs uh, being smaller, but um, since we've got this access right here, we thought we'd give this a try. See our camera kind of flipped on us there. Here we go. We're now into the three inch ABS main sewer. It's a little cloudy right here from the fat and grease that went by our camera lens. Um, but again, we can see all this piping um, underneath the house with the access that's by the door from the little downstairs granny flat. So this piping here is three inch ABS plastic. It's all new. And so basically we're making a turn right here. We know we have a clean out access lid right here. We can see this also from the crawl space. So this is the T-junction right here. Again, the image is a little fuzzy because of the grease on the camera, but we'll wipe that off once we get to the main sewer we go across here. Now we go down this few more feet of pipe right here. And then here's a turn on the system right here, and this is another clean out access that we have that is on the side of the house. So we're gonna go ahead and pause the video, and we're now gonna move over to this portion of the piping from the three inch clean out that's on the opposite side of the house. Okay, so we moved over to the other side of the house, as you can see here, and right here is where the three inch ABS pipe comes out from this side of the house. So this is where we made that last turn on the system. And so again, all this piping here goes underneath when it passes to the other side of the house, then runs across um, and eventually goes into the crawl space. It's also accessible from um, the granny flat area on the back side of that. And then you can see everything um, going all the way back to the laundry room as well. It's all new ABS plastic. So we're gonna go from this three inch clean out here to inspect the rest of the system. So again, this is still all newer ABS plastic pipe, which is what you want to see. No cast iron, no clay, no concrete. Those three other types of pipe are more problematic. It looks like we're coming up to the septic tanks right here, the first tank itself. So here's the little turn, and this will then dump into the first tank itself. So we'll see. So you can see right there, this is the first septic tank right here. So we'll back back up out of this here for a second. Set our camera right here, right before this turn. Now we're going to go ahead and pause so we can go ahead and mark and locate the path of this pipe and the depth as well, uh, which will be very close to the first tank lid. Okay, so we've gone ahead and located this position of the pipe and it's actually right um, next to the last step um, there at the ground. Uh, at the stairwell that leads on this side of the house. So we've marked it, it's 28 inches deep. And we're gonna go ahead and pull our camera back out this short distance here from this clean out. And we'll pull out and show the flag that we stuck in the ground as well as some of the paint marks we made just showing the somewhat of the path of that. So we'll pull this back out here. 
So basically these steps right here at the very end, there's a little green flag, that's where we're at. So we're gonna pause for a second and move our camera over to that location, make it clear. Okay, so again, we just left that clean out over there on the side of the house. Here's the steps. Here's the path of the pipe with this green paint. Here's our flag denoting the end of the ABS plastic sewer. Uh, and it's then slash dumping into the tank this pipe uh, here uh, the ABS with the camera in there to the bottom of the pipe is about 28 inches deep so we went ahead and grabbed a couple of poking prodding rods and a shovel and we noticed how fast within not even six inches of the ground we were hitting the cover and so you can see somebody put a wood cover here don't really want to use wood it obviously dry rots and the moisture just eats at it but this is actually already the, one of the cover lids that they used um, for the first tank and then there'll be a second tank so nice and shallow not much digging needs to be done to pull this off but you definitely want to use a different material for the uh, covering up the top of this although this may just be an initial one there may be another secondary one below here, um, but as long as there's no space in between, that's not a big deal. They, again, might have just left the wood on there as a notation, so you hit that before you hit the top of the actual tank lids. Um, but in general, you'd want to use a harder material that can survive long term than just wood. So anyway, that's already there uh, for the septic and the other people to start uh, uncovering the rest of that to get down and pump this and the second tank out just, that's just after that. So everything's good on the system as far as the plastic drain and sewer line system here. Uh, one, it is all plastic, which is what you want. It's all in good condition. There's no issues. The laundry does need to be modified. It's not currently dumping into this system. And um, they've got an illegal uh, gray water system where it's pumping out to the side of the home. So that needs to be dumped back into the normal part of the ABS plastic uh, in the laundry room. But other than that, there's no issues with the drain or sewer system here at this property. So that concludes this recording.